Hello guys, my name is Michael and welcome to the second tutorial of our code blocks. Maybe you are asking yourself why do I need a second one? It is because based on the question which I got from someone, he was asking me what's the best way to work with GTK4 and GTK3 at the same time with code blocks because I don't find a, a good way and I all the time I need to make a lot of changes. So the change which uh, he was uh, meaning uh, or he was uh, as saying was that well, you remember from the first video we are creating those two projects whatever was the last one and if we compile it and run it then we have our window with our button and of course inside the settings right here when you go to compile we have the link uh, we have the search directories and so on everything uh, uh, got done now if you want to work with GTK3 you need or at least the guy said I need to remove all those informations and then just call package config uh, on the GTK uh, with the GTK3 and all the time when I switch the projects it's kind of messy and uh, there is uh, he showed me a way another way which uh, he did it but uh, I found another one which is much more faster and easier so I'm going to share with you guys if you like it use it if you don't ignore it I'm going to close the cloud box uh, uh, blocks right now and the first thing which we need I'm going to open the terminal and you better check if you have the GTK3 which as you can see I don't have it so I, I need to install it sudo apt get install libgtk-3 minus minus dev development now the password and after that uh, we need the wait for a second to get installed probably some of you already uh, have them anyway uh, n now um, I need to, to remove those back ticks because it doesn't like it for the C flex and now the lib uh, not to S is only one and as you can see it looks good and we have the GTK3 okay that being said because it's working uh, uh, we are going to close the terminal so what we are going to do now guys it is quite easy you go to your home uh, right click show hidden files you go to config you see code blocks right here name it uh, GTK4 minus GTK4 just like this you see I already have something so now because I, I named the GTK4 to or uh, let me remove this one so at this point from code blocks I went to code blocks GTK4 okay now when you run your program like I'm doing right now you see it is uh, basically uh, creating a new one which is quite true now all you have to do you have to go to settings compiler and then you need to pass the package config C flags to your other compilers options and to the linker set, uh, settings or the linker options you pass the other call which is package config minus lib. Don't forget those backticks because that's very important. And now because we have it, let us create a new project. Let uh, see how it's working. See uh, GTK3, wherever. Point it of course again to your favor folder me I'm going this in the template next finish and now here it should be the GTK3 so I have a demo application program right here as you can see so let me build it and now I'm going to run it and as you can see it is working fine the next thing which we need because I hate X terminal we need to change it out here sorry settings environment uh, GNOME. Okay, so now let's see. I'm going to run it. Yes, everything looks fine. As you can see, we do have our GTK3. Now, when you close the program, we don't need this anymore. Every time when you, you decide to work between GTK3 and 4, you only need to do rename, let's say minus GTK3, and drop the GTK4 the, and let it just be called code blocks and now if you run the code blocks again 
it will run your globals with the old settings you see whatever and here it is the gtk4 uh, application which we were creating it um, as you can see so that's the fastest way which i found out now let me go back for a second uh, rename like i said minor gtk4 and now i'm just going to um, work with gtk3 and at this point when i run the code blocks it is pointing to this one again and now as you can see we have the gtk3 project right here and compile it and run it there you go that being said i hope you like it if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys